Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be looking at a pair of studio monitors I deem the best budget option you can get for a home studio setup. And the studio monitors I am talking about are these Adam Audio T7Vs. About a year ago, I got my hands on the smaller T5Vs from Adam Audio and when I compared those to the very popular Yamaha HS5s, they absolutely blew them away. And since that video, I've been so curious about the rest of the T-Series, even the T8Vs, and Adam Audio was nice enough to send me these T7Vs to test them out and compare them to my HS8s in the back and see how good they sound and also just run through them and tell you guys why I think they are so so special. Starting off with what you get in the box when you purchase a pair of these studio monitors, the first thing you'll find is some paperwork giving you a little bit more information about the T-Series in general and a little bit of a manual of what these studio monitors are all about and then you get a power cable to power these studio monitors and then lastly we have the studio monitors themselves. Now taking these studio monitors out of the box again takes me back to when I did that first review of the T5Vs and looking back at that review one of the things that stood out most to me when I unboxed them was just the simple look and design of these studio monitors. I love the minimalistic look, I love the UR tweeter that iconically comes with Adam Audio studio monitors and it sounds so so good and the fact that they included this UR tweeter with these budget studio monitors is really just great value for money. Looking at the back of these studio monitors, the first thing that stood out to me is the fact that you only have an XLR input and not a TRS option. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? To be honest, the XLR option is always better because the connectivity is always better than a basic TRS and the fact that that's the only option Adam Audio gave you is a good thing sound wise not necessarily the best case if you have TRS cables and you now have to buy XLR but other than that in terms of features you have a high pass and a low pass filter which does give you a touch of versatility when it comes to setting these up more specifically for your room environment and then lastly you also have your volume knob and your power input so now that we've gone through these studio monitors in terms of of look and design, features, front and back panel, it's time to move on to the part where we listen to what these sound like. And in my videos, I always like to compare studio monitors to other studio monitors just for reference. And in today's video, I'm gonna be comparing these T7Vs to the Yamaha HS8s behind me. Remember, it is not a fair comparison because the cone of these studio monitors are slightly smaller. So you are gonna get a touch more low end and brightness with the ones behind me. And also remember, in terms of price, these are 500 bucks a pair. The Yamaha HS8s are at least seven to 800. So in terms of that, just keep that in mind. Maybe it will just remind you how good these actually sound compared to the HS8s that are more expensive and slightly bigger. But enough talking, let's just jump straight into the sound test. Now for the final take, do I still believe these are the best budget studio monitors you could probably get for a home studio setup? Honestly, I do. When I compared the T5Vs, I was already surprised about the T-Series and how good they sound for what you pay. And now seeing that you can get a solid pair of seven inch studio monitors, that little bit more low end for only $250 each, still get the UR tweeter that's iconic from Adam Audio, that extra value at a very, very good price. And yes, we compared them to the HS8s and I do think the HS8 sounded slightly better because of the low end and just a little bit more brighter, but those studio monitors are $350 dollars more. If you're looking for a solid pair of studio monitors for under $500 that sound good, that look good and are great overall value, you won't find a better pair of studio monitors out there.
So that brings this video of my unboxing and review of the Atom Audio T7 Vs to an end. And just a reminder, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe over here and watch more videos down over here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for another one next time.